my dear parents and children today i am welcoming my youtube channel see we are doing a, from the last 6 months basic maths we have done already addition subtraction and addition of uh, two digits three digits and four digits and also subtraction of two digits three digits and four digits now we are going to do the subtraction also fraction also we have done and the previous part 5 basic math part 5 now in the part 6 we are going to do about the uh, explaining about the decimals see decimals takes an important role in mathematics see look here now the decimal means generally 1 by 10 is 0 0.1 and 2 by 100 is 0 0.02 4 by 1000 means equals 0 0.004 are decimal 0 0 0.004 see the decimals 1 by 10 1 by 100 and 1 by 1000 we have done already as shown on the board and we can now the decimal fraction means the, decim the fraction in which the denominators are denominators are 10 Look here, 100 and 1000. See here, you know, uh, etc. are known as a decimal fraction. The type of fractions means here, decimal fraction means the fraction in which the denominators are pair. The children, you know that here is a numerator and denominator. Denominator should be a 10 or 100 or 1000 or anything about the only in tens, uh, which the denominators are 10. 100 and 1000 etc. are known as a decimal fraction. For example, I given here 3 by 10, huh? decimal 3, 5 by 100, decimal 0, 5, 63 by 1000, decimal 0, 6, 3. In the pictures, I have shown here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here, only 10 square boxes are there. Here we have shaded 2. In this one, the shaded portion represents huh, 2 tenths. 2 tenth means here point zero point 0.2. Which you can read as decimal 2. Decimal, this is the decimal symbol and this is 2. Then point 0.2 may be written as 0 0.2 also. There is no difference between point 0.2 and 0 0.2 see students here now I have given an example of conversion of decimals into the common fraction decimals here example I given here ok now no problem 4.8 equals see here point 0.8 means 4 you can write as it is 8 you can write point 0.8 means by 10 you write that is 4.8 equals 48 by 10 this is the conversion of decimal to the common fraction. 3.51 is 351. After the decimal, how many numbers are there? 1, 2. 2, 0 you write here. 351, 351 divided by. After the decimals, 2 is there. And 1 followed by 0, 0 is 351 by 100. Here, point zero 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 eight point eight. Here, this is equals here point zero zero eight equals here eight divided by after the decimal how many uh, numbers are there? One, two, three. One for by my zeros. One, two, three. Means eight divided by thousand. This is the conversion of decimal into a common fraction. See here now. Now I am writing in decimal part. Write in decimals. 37 by 100. Means here look at after the 1, power of zeros, 2 zeros. Means 0 0.37 you write. From the back, that one you come here. 1, 2, put the decimal here. 0 0.37. This is 37 by 100 equals 0 0.37. Next, B. 582 divided by 1000. Here, uh, 1 followed by how many zeros? 
three zeros. Here you write five eighty to first one two three. Put the decimals. It becomes zero point five eight two. This is the conversion of ha huh, fraction into decimal part. See now write in a numerals. Yeah, zero point zero five is that. This you can write in numerals means five divided by point after the decimal. How many is the number is there? Two one two means here after five you write in the numerator. The numerator you write one divided by two zero five by hundred. Next three point two six is that. Here after the decimal how many numbers are there? Two means here three and twenty six you write in the numerator. You know. One for order two zeros one hundred three twenty six by hundred. This is the writing a decimal into the common fractions. Next now write the number name here decimal number name zero point zero five. Okay, how can you read decimal with this decimal zero five? See here zero point zero five means you can read as decimal. This is zero. Five. Higher. Sixteen point twenty seven. Sixteen. Here. Sixteen means here. You can now. Sixteen. Sixteen decimal. Here. Sixteen decimal. Decimal. Here. How much? Two seven. Two seven. Here seven point eight is there. Seven, seven decimal. We wrote here seven point means a decimal. Seven decimal, decimal eight. E I G H T. We can now. And there is seven decimal eight. Make your guess here, Richard. A two three six point seven four one. Second one we have four point zero eight. Here, in a guess here, Richard. We have hundred tens. Here, look here, hundred tens and ones. Here, decimal is there. Decimal point is there. Next, tens. Next, this is. Ten, hundred. This is hundred, and this is a thousand. Look here now. This two, three, six point seven four one. Below hundred, you can write two. Ah, below ten, you can write three. Below one, you can write three. Decimal point you write as it is. Ten means point after point. First one is seven ten, and then four hundred and one thousand. That I wrote here. Hundred place means two, two hundred. Ten place means three. The thirty one place means six two hundred thirty six plus up to the decimal point ten seven by ten hundred four by hundred one one by thousand total two hundred thirty six equals two hundred thirty six decimal seven four one. This is the answer. See here, look here now. Next four point zero eight here. Four is in a one space. Here, this is in a one place, one place, and point decimal. This is the decimal gap, and zero. Here, point decimal. Next, zero is there. Next, eight is there. Zero is in ten place, and eight is in hundred place. Here, four plus zero by ten, and eight by hundred equals four point zero eight. See, my dear children and parents, we have explained about the decimal point. Somewhat is the only beginning. Next, in the next uh, YouTube, I'll detail. I will be multiplication and division. I will explain about the decimal part. Thank you. Thank you very much.